In this video, we will figure out how to solve this dedicated video memory issue. Low dedicated video memory can cause a problem in gaming performance, graphics, and also with photo and video editing apps. Let's take an example of low dedicated VRAM. If you are a Photoshop user, then you might have started getting that error message on your Photoshop, like 3D features and some filters require a minimum of 512 megabytes of VRAM. Photoshop has detected less than that on your system. You could be suffering from the same sort of issues with your gamings also. Now, how to solve this? Question is, is this error just started coming up in your Photoshop after updating your Windows or it was there since you downloaded Photoshop? If you started getting this error message just after Windows updation, like from Windows 7 to 8 or Windows 8 to 10, then there is an easy solution. I'll show you how, but before that, you have to understand how to check out how many graphics cards you have in your system. VRAM, the video memory you can find out by going to right click Windows, go to control panel, click appearance and personalization in display, click adjust screen resolution, then go to advanced settings. And here you will find out how much dedicated video memory your system have. Like I have 128 MB right now. Dedicated video memory is shared with your system's actual RAM. But now, one more thing you have to find out that is which company and how many graphics card do you have in your system. To find out that, open search bar and type in device manager. And open it in device manager. Go to display adapters and double click to open it. Once you open display adapters, you will see the information about the graphics card you have in your system. Bingo! In my system, I have two graphics cards. One is AMD Radeon R7 M265. When I double click on that to open it, it gives me general information that it is on PCI slot 4. That means it's on slot 4. Now, this is external graphic card and it works independently. That means it doesn't share memory with your RAM. Second one is Intel HD graphics family which shares memory with RAM and see you find there is no separate slot mentioned in general information. Okay I said I have separate graphic card which works independently and doesn't share memory with RAM. Then how come I am getting the error in my Photoshop? Something must be wrong. Let's find out. And the answer is in this Photoshop error message. It says underneath here updating the driver of your graphics card may resolve the issue. So I will go online and Google search. As I have Dell system, I will search for Dell drivers. If you are using Asus or HR or SL, then search accordingly. Go to drivers and download. If I don't have service code handy, then I will click detect product. It will detect your system with service tag or code and under this option, optimize your system with drivers and update. So I will choose find it myself. I will not gonna go with auto detect and will manually select to update video drivers and will go and select my external graphic card and download file to update it. Once the file will be downloaded, open and follow the steps to update. Once your external or independent graphics processor is been updated, just right click and you will find this sort of similar option depending on which company graphics card do you have in your system or you may find in Windows search. Once I click and go to graphics properties, I can find the option to manage graphic settings for the base gaming performance. Let me close that for now. If I go to configure switchable graphics, here I can see and set the graphic settings for particular apps. It's already set to high performance for Photoshop. That means it's great. You can change or set for the particular applications or games as per your requirement. Okay, so now let me close this down and open the Photoshop to check out. And see error is gone by the way this is the thumbnail of my previous video how to change background in photoshop please check out the link in description below or click onto the above link to open this video in another tab now back on business if i go to edit then preference then performance i can see that the graphics processor settings are available which was not there before and if i go to advanced settings use graphics processor to accelerate computation checkbox is checked now problem is solved Yes, that means if you have an external graphics processor in your system, then you can solve this problem very easily just by updating your drivers. But what about if you have only one shared graphics processor like Intel graphics family? If this is the case, then in some chances you can boost dedicated video memory just by going into BIOS. And after all this, 
Still, if you want to be successful to update dedicated graphic memory, then I recommend you to buy external graphics card of at least 2GB, which will cost you somewhere between from 50 to 200 bucks, but it will worth it. So I hope you found this video helpful somehow and if you get succeed then comment me about your experience which I will love to hear. Please return me favor by subscribing my channel and if you still think to support me more than that then please click to support my channel and it will be really appreciated. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Thanks.